Ever wanted to get up close and personal with one of these cute little guys? Australia Zoo today officially opened their new tiger cub enclosure. The first residents are the zoo's two Sumatran tiger cubs. The cubs, nicknamed Spot and Stripe, were born at the zoo nine weeks ago and have been busy getting to know their new carers. So as of today, the cubs will be on display and uh, right through to the middle of December, people will have the opportunity to see them in the cub yard. It's what we call a chuff, or its proper name is called a Proustin, and it's just the way that they greet each other, but they also do it for reassurance. So they do it to one another, or mum would do it to them. So uh, it's just a... Tigers don't purr. It's the, the closest thing you'd probably get to a purr, but as I said, it's just a, just a way of giving them a bit of reassurance. There's always a, an element that we have to be really careful, and even at this age you can see he's, you know, he's got huge paws with some pretty hefty claws, and... You know, he can bite hard already at this age, so we're always very conscious of what they are, which is ultimately still a wild animal. They're still tigers. And when they get bigger, they're very well trained and conditioned, but they're, not, they're never going to be tame. They're never going to be domesticated. They're still, still a wild animal, aren't you? <laughs> For the complete tiger cub experience, guests can purchase an additional tiger cub encounter, allowing guests to venture inside the enclosure. Money raised from these encounters will go directly to tiger conservation in Sumatra. The fact that these guys are, are uh, taking a hammering in the wild and disappearing, we want to be able to generate as much support as we can to, to help tigers in the wild. So guests will have the opportunity to come along and meet the cubs, possibly not quite as close as what I'm doing here, but um, by doing so, those extra funds that we can generate is then what we put back into supporting conservation. We feel by having this hands-on relationship with our animals, not only are they much, much more well-adjusted for a life in captivity, we can provide them with a level of stimulation and environmental enrichment that otherwise just wouldn't be possible. And so therefore, we're actually giving them the best possible life that we can by having this hands-on uh, relationship with all of our tigers. So it's not just with the cubs, we do it with the adults as well. Australia Zoo is part of the international efforts to ensure the survival of tigers, and these cubs are genetically significant. These guys are, are valuable not only to us as individuals and very, very precious, but they're going to play a vital role in the uh, international breeding program, and that's because partly the reason they're so valuable is that their mother, Caitlin, is actually what we call a new founder to the captive population, and so genetically she's not represented anywhere with the exception of now these two, and, uh, and it's going to be uh, very important for the diversity in captivity that we... Uh... Oh no! Oh no! You're going in a minute. They're, they're a typical cat. They are very, very curious and inquisitive. And ultimately, at this age, everything's still so new to them, including the sound of cameras. Till now, the cubs have been kept away from the public eye, but by the looks of it, don't seem to mind all the new attention. These guys are so robust, you know, they they take everything in their stride, every new situation, every new thing that they come across, they're pretty, pretty confident he's going to go. Giles Clark, Australia's Head of Tigers and Conservation, also celebrated 10 years service with the zoo, and it's obvious he's a man who enjoys coming to work. I've got an amazing job and there's never a day that goes by that I'm not grateful for it. Ah, ah, okay. Come on. When it comes to the big cats and the, the big carnivores, whether it's a, a tiger or a lion or, or any of those other members, people have always been fascinated with them, you know, and these guys are at, the, at this age are just adorable, but even when they get bigger, you know, for thousands and thousands of years, people have always been fascinated by, by tigers.